So what's the greatest gift you've ever received? I'll tell you what mine was. So at 19, got to go to the bar for the first time. It's very exciting, right? Um, I met a guy. No, he was not the gift. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. easier now rather than me having to worry about my shoes okay so um, he asked me to dance and I said sure um, he danced me around the floor it was magical <laughs> he was a great dancer I on the other hand am not <laughs> so um, I giggled and laughed as he waltzed me around the floor it was a very magical night um, nine months later we were married um, it was very short um, once we got married, we moved in with his, with his parents. Um, there was one bathroom in the whole house, so not a whole lot of privacy for a newlywed couple. Um, several, in, several months into the marriage, I was surprised at how sad and lonely I was. One night, my husband came home from work and I heard the front door, I was sure it was him. And I thought, hmm, where did he go? Anyway, he went upstairs to talk to his parents and he finally came downstairs about, I don't know, 20 minutes later. And I kind of went, um, <laughs> this, this is not okay. I'm like, I should be the first person you come and see. He just kind of looked at me blankly like, I don't, <laughs> he didn't understand. He just didn't understand that I should be the most important person and that he should me see me first before he saw his parents. Young and in a bad marriage and feeling utterly hopeless. Not really sure what to do, where to turn. Um, I just didn't know what to do. I felt completely hopeless and lost. Um, I knew I needed help but I really didn't know where to turn. So I wrote a letter to my husband telling him I was suicidal, that I just, I didn't feel like I had any other option. I just didn't know what to do. Um, and it's crazy, but he never, never responded. He, I don't, who does that? Somebody tells you you're suicidal and you don't say anything. When I asked him way later, he said to me, well, I didn't know what to say. And I'm like, okay, so saying nothing is a good option? Not really a good option. Anyway, God had other plans for me. Um, surprise, I was pregnant. Oh, and I was very surprised. I was switching from one pill to another. I did not expect to get pregnant. Um, it was a very good surprise, but it was definitely a surprise. Um, so suicide was not an option any longer. I now was going to have a baby to take care of. I knew that my baby needed a family, so I tried really hard to make my marriage work, but I felt that marriage is a team effort. It's two people working together to make the best life for each other and for their children. I didn't have that. <laughs> one, of, one of my joyful moments was um, giving my son a bath. Um, <laughs> we would sit in the bath and he had this funny little turtle and you would put it under the water and it would fill with water and he would squeeze it and the water would squirt. And he would giggle hilariously. <laughs> it's, I, a child's laughter is the best medicine, it really is. Um, and my husband would come stand at the door and I would invite him in, come, share with this experience with me. And he would just stand at the door and say no. He was always a spectator. He just, I couldn't get him to participate. Finally, unfortunately, the marriage had to end. Um, but I had a son to take care of. Um, and really the only difference at that point, really the only difference was that I now had to worry about finances because really I was a single parent before that. He was in the background. He didn't help with anything. He didn't do anything for me. Um, so 
I became a single parent, and I loved my, I still do love my son, <laughs> but I, I love my son. He was so much fun to be with. He was a joy to be around. I mean, my favorite time was bath time and in the car. I loved being in the car with my son. <laughs> we used to play a game, because you're not allowed to say bad words, right? So we would call each other names, but it would be like Nut Burger and Pizza Head and, um, and you know, I remember the car breaking down once and he got to drive. He was so excited. He's standing in the car and he's driving. He's having a great old time. So <laughs> when my son was about a year and a half, I realized that he was a gift. He was born on Christmas Day and he was a gift from God. So through my son, God gave me my life. So as I continue to grow and stretch myself, which is what this year and being part of this program is, is to push myself out of my comfort zone, to do things that I'm not comfortable with. I just keep growing every day. And I don't know what God's plan is for me, but I'm very lucky. I have three amazing children and I now have a granddaughter, which is very exciting. She's the cutest little thing. <laughs> and I can't wait to spend more time with her and get to know her more. Thank you. <laughs>